Everyone tells you breaking into tech requires endless hours, relentless grinding, and building project after project until your eyes look like that one Squidward meme. But what if I told you that approach is like using a chainsaw for a heart surgery instead of a scalpel? There's a lazy way to become a programmer. And before you click away thinking I'm about to sell you some get rich quick nonsense, let me be clear. I use lazy very deliberately here because lazy people find the quickest, most efficient way to get something done so they don't waste unnecessary time. If you don't know me yet, my name is Phil. Seven years ago, I was a 30 year old English teacher making barely enough to survive. I had zero programming experience and frankly, zero natural talent for it either. But I was lazy enough to refuse the grind for 12 hours a day advice everyone was pushing. Today, I'm a senior developer who's earned over $300,000 annually and helped hundreds of people break into tech without burning out. My goal is to give you my no filter, no BS insights about life and lessons as a software engineer. These are my own thoughts based on my own experiences. Hot take, the smarter, more efficient approach to becoming a programmer isn't being taught widely because they require a significant amount of initial mental effort and critical thinking. And frankly, most people don't want to think, they just want to be told what to do for 40 hours a week. Let me explain it through a very commonly known model called the bell curve. It's a graph that shows how most people or things fall around an average. With fewer at the extremes, it looks like a hill, high in the middle and low on both sides. The tech industry follows a bell curve. On the left, you have people who are never going to make it regardless whether it's mindset, work ethic, or just bad timing. These people get sold the just grind harder narrative and burn out. In the middle, you have the majority, good people who rely on brute force strategies because they don't know better. They spend six months in tutorial hell, build the same weather app as everyone else, and wonder why they can't get interviews. Some make it work, but as the job market reflects, the majority can't make it work. Then on the right, you have the upper class. These people were always going to succeed. It was just a matter of when. They intuitively understand that programming isn't about memorizing syntax. It's about pattern recognition and problem solving. They have that it factor. Most programming advice follows the chainsaw approach. Build 50 projects and you'll eventually get good. Grind leak code for eight hours a day. Learn every framework and language. This is brute force. It works eventually, but it's inefficient and soul crushing. And this is what majority of the people in the middle of the bell curve use. The scalpel approach recognizes that programming follows the 80-20 rule religiously. 20% of concepts give you 80% of the results. 20% of your time spent strategically beats 80% spent grinding aimlessly. In short, focus on the activities that yield the greatest returns. If you only need a scalpel to get the job done, why use a chainsaw? It's heavier, consumes more energy, and is messy. This is what the people on the right of the bell curve use. A common path that mirrors the chainsaw approach is boot camps. Traditional ones teach you multiple languages simultaneously, covering any and every concept possible. Think about it. When you ultimately land your first offer, do you think they need you programming in every single language possible or using every concept created? Of course not. So why prepare that way? The lazy programmers framework, step one, pattern recognition over memorization. Instead of trying to memorize every method in JavaScript, focus on understanding the fundamental patterns. Once you see that most programming problems follow similar structures, you can solve new problems by recognizing which pattern applies. When I study any new concept, I ask four questions. What is this? Why does this exist? When will I need this? How does this connect to what I already know? These questions force your brain to build connections, not just store isolated facts, like your own internal database. Step two, strategic project building. Everyone says build projects, but they don't tell you which projects actually matter. Here's the lazy approach. Pick one problem domain you understand better than most people. If you worked in retail, build retail solutions. If you understand fitness, build fitness apps. Don't build another to-do list. Build something that demonstrates you understand both the technical and business sides of a problem. Step three, the AI advantage 
This is where lazy programmers really shine in 2025. AI tools like GitHub Copilot and Claude can cut your development time in half, but only if you know how to use them strategically. Instead of fighting AI, make it your research assistant. Use it to generate practice problems for active recall, explain complex concepts in simple terms, debug your code and explain why it broke, create multiple approaches to do the same problem. The lazy programmer doesn't compete with AI. They leverage it to focus on higher level thinking. Step four, strategic mentorship. Here's something the grind it alone or lock in or I'm cooked crowd won't tell you. Even world-class athletes have coaches. LeBron James has coaches. Serena Williams had coaches. Yet somehow people think they should learn programming in complete isolation. I get it. The internet is flooded with overpriced courses and programs that promise you will be making six figures in 60 days or something stupid. Most of them are scams and you're right to be skeptical. But here's the difference. Good mentorship programs aren't selling you shortcuts. They're selling you the strategic thinking you need to avoid wasting years going in circles. When I was starting out, I spent months spinning my wheels because I didn't know which 20% of concepts actually mattered. A good mentor doesn't just teach you to code. They show you which problems are worth solving and how to position yourself in the market. The lazy approach. Find someone who's already walked the path and can show you where the landmines are buried. What most people miss is that when you're becoming a programmer, it isn't about learning to code. It's about becoming a problem solver who happens to use code as a tool. When you shift from how do I memorize this syntax to how do I solve this problem efficiently, everything changes. You stop competing on who can grind the longest and start competing on who can think the clearest. Like I mentioned earlier, the lazy approach requires more initial mental effort than the brute force method. It's easier to follow a 40 hour per week bootcamp curriculum than to think strategically about what you actually need to learn. Most people choose the hard way because it feels like progress. Grinding for 12 hours feels productive. Strategic thinking for two hours feels like you're being lazy. The reality is, while everyone else is burning out in tutorial hell, you'll be building real solutions to real problems. While they're memorizing syntax, you'll be recognizing patterns. While they're competing for entry level positions, you'll be positioning yourself as someone who understands both technology and business. The path I'm showing you works. I've seen it work for hundreds of students, but it requires you to think differently about learning. Breaking into tech in 2025 isn't about who can suffer the most or grind the longest. It's about who can think strategically and execute efficiently, now more than ever. AI is drastically cutting the learning curve and time it takes to become proficient in something. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more of these type of videos and let me know in the comments what topics you'd like me to cover in the future. And if you're serious about breaking into tech, but want guidance from someone who's walked this path, I work with a small group of people who are ready to think strategically about their tech careers. The choice is yours. Keep using the chainsaw approach everyone else recommends or pick up the scalpel and start making precise cuts towards your programming career. The lazy way isn't the easy way, it's the smart way. And in tech, smart always beats hard. If I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.